Okay, so this happened about a year ago. I'm in a long distance relationship and I often fly to visit. I didn't have a ride arranged to come and pick me up so I usually just use a Lyft or Uber to get to and from the airport. This particular ride started off fine. It was a guy from Haiti and he had a very thick accent that was often hard to understand. The beginning of the ride was just him making small talk like most drivers do. Where are you flying from? Are you in college? Do you have family here? And so on. We get on the freeway and there's a lot of traffic. I had a layover flight and of course all of the outlets were in use so I couldn't charge my phone. I'm really hoping that this traffic lightens up soon because I really need to keep in contact with the people I'm going to be staying with. Of course, with my luck, the app crashes and then says, You have arrived. While we're literally in the middle of the freeway near no houses at all. I get kind of annoyed and the driver says that he'll pull over at this Walmart that's nearby so we can try and figure out what's wrong. Apparently he had a very old phone and it wasn't giving proper directions, so I said that we could use mine but that I needed to charge it. He asked me to sit up front so that it was easier and I thought nothing of it so I decided to go up front. He tells me that he'll take me the rest of the way for free without using the Lyft app. I put the address in my phone and we're back on our way. As we're pulling out of the Walmart parking lot, he then decides to ask me how old I am. I told him that I'd just turned 18, and that's when things got kinda weird. He seemed to lighten up at how young I was, which was a bit odd, but whatever. He then asked me a series of questions like, Why don't you live here? You should move here. You should go to college here, so why don't you? I'm a doctor, and Lyft is just a side job for me, so I have a lot of money. This man was at least in his mid-40s. I told him that I had no money to just randomly move states and start college, seeing as I had just become a legal adult. He then told me, I can take care of you. I'll buy you a little apartment and a nice car, and I can take you out and pay for your college. I thought that he was joking, so I kind of just awkwardly laughed and then said, That's okay, you don't need to do that. But he just kept insisting on it, and I was starting to get really creeped out. I really didn't want to jump to conclusions. I thought that maybe he's just not sure how to hold proper conversations since he's foreign or something. About 20 minutes later, we're about 5 minutes away from my destination. My phone kept doing that annoying thing where it's charging then not charging that phones do whenever the charger wires are loose. I had this phone for a really long time, so it did this sometimes and apparently it hadn't really been charging much at all, and then it died. Since we were so close to the destination though, I told him that I knew the rest of the way, but I'd tell him to turn right and he'd say okay and then purposely turn left or keep going straight. Literally anything but what I told him to do. Now we're lost because he's literally ignoring everything I'm saying and playing it off as some sort of an accident, and I'm not super familiar with the entire area. I really only knew a small portion of the streets. He tells me that he lives nearby and I start getting really scared because I think he's going to kidnap me or something. I then let out a single tear. I tell myself to keep it together because usually in the movies whenever they see fear they usually get mad or something. So I try really hard to try and make it seem like I'm not totally losing my crap. He finally turns back around and when we're almost there again he then starts purposely going the wrong way yet again. At this point, I got my phone to about 5%. He reaches over while at a red light, grabs my phone, and then he rates himself 5 stars on Lyft and also friends me on Facebook. He also puts his phone number in my phone and tells me to call him if I ever need anything and that we should go out sometime. I give a little fake smile so he doesn't know that I'm about to crap myself from all of the fear. I eventually get so fed up that I just jump out at another red light and then tell him, Thanks, but you're really scaring me. Bye. I then call my boyfriend on my 5% battery life and I tell him where I am because I'm really scared and I need him to pick me up. The Lyft driver is now shouting out the window for me to get back in the car, but there's no way in hell I was going back in there to be some man's sugar baby and was also a total stranger. I then decide to go somewhere with a lot of people and wait for my boyfriend. Now, this whole ordeal actually made the ride last about two and a half hours, and it should have only taken about 45 minutes, even with all of the traffic. Later, I called Lyft, and I told them everything. He was supposedly fired, so I guess that's good. Anyway, 
to the random Lyft driver looking for a young sugar baby to try and kidnap. If you happen to see me again whenever I visit, please just stay away from me.